Hi everybody, welcome back. So welcome back in another video by Kurjit and in today's video we are going to use this thing called Flowwise AI and how this actually works. So that's what we are going to see. So if you don't know like what this thing is, like it's a, a platform that allows you to build your AI applications without writing a single line of code. So how does it work? So uh, it's a kind of a UI visual tool as you can see like it's an open source UI visual tool to build your customized LLM flow using LangJS. So behind the scene, it is using LangJS, and uh, all you need to do is like you have you just have to connect the dots uh, to a right uh, dot. Like you just have to connect the dots, you know, one uh, block to another block. And once you have properly connected uh, all these dots together, then you will have uh, proper. Then you will have an endpoint, ABI endpoint. You can say that you can use for your own use case. Okay, so these are the different sort of use cases like what you can build. So we can build like a LM chain. If you don't know about this, like what LM chain is, like in my last video, I explained this very, very clearly, like how you can build your own custom LM chain. So you can check that out as well. And also, I explained about the Lang chain if you don't have any idea about like what this thing is and how, and how it works basically. So you can check that out as well. So you can build like a simple LM chain where you can have like a one prompt template and you can craft that template and things like that and after that uh, you also have an option to queue in a retrieval chain like it's uh, basically uh, you can say like you can upload a pdf and then it will be converted into like vector embeddings that you can store it inside your vector database and then you can ask a question and an answer on the basis of that okay so that's what this um, q and a thing is similarly we have different sort of things so you can attach some memory with it if you want your chatbot to have a, mem have a memory then you can do that as well so this is what it is uh, the I think th the thing that we are going to in do in this video is like uh, we are going to see like how you can build a very simple flow okay we are we are going to do very simple thing just the same the same thing that we have did in like the last video okay so what we did like uh, we have we are we have used uh, our SERP API and we have connected this uh, with our you know our agent and then that agent can you know go on a google and search things and it can return it can re return the response on the basis of that okay so seems so just imagine like uh we were searching langchain but uh the model doesn't have any idea about like what langchain is because it has been it has been launched recently so that's why uh, the model doesn't have any idea about like uh, what this Langchain is, but when we have uh, connected that with the SERP API, then it will then it was able to you know go and search things from internet, and after getting that information, it has uh, passed it has basically added that as a context in our model. That's why our model was able to answer. Similarly, something like that we are going to build here but uh the thing is like uh, the best part is like we are not going to write a single line of code we are just going to connect the dots and after that you will be able to see that like how it works okay so without further wasting a time uh, wasting our time let's just start this video okay so now let's take a look at uh installation part like how you can install this so uh if you are not sure about like how you can install this although i have already installed this thing the flow wise so uh, that's why i'm not going to install it again but i can i can show you like how you can do so so you can follow its official docs like or maybe this uh, github link uh, i will mention that in uh, the description in the description so you can check that out from there or also you can search it in google you can find it easily so okay so this is not the big problem and then you have to follow these two steps like you have to first uh, enter this npm install hyphen g flow wise and just enter it uh, make sure you have a uh, node installed and i'm assuming that you already have node installed so that's why you are um, basically watching this video and if you don't have then just go and install that it's not a big deal okay so and uh, after that uh, to start this thing uh, you just have to type like npx flow wise start and uh, you will have your uh, flow wise up and running at the 3000 port just like I have okay so this is the flow wise this is how it looks so now let's start okay so now let's start with the very basic AI application very basic use case 
uh, in which we are going to basically connect we are going to use SERP API to power our uh, model okay so so that it can it will be able to you know uh, query things from internet and search things from internet and it will give us like later, latest information about that particular thing so uh, let's see how you can do that okay so now let's see how you can make a very simple LM application not application but how you can make a very simple LM chain where what we will do we will simply connect uh, our model with a SERP API so that it will be able to search things from internet you know so just like if it doesn't know about like you know what lang chain is then it will be able to query that from like uh, google or anywhere like that and it will be able to provide answer on the basis of that okay so our answer will be much more accurate in that case so let's see how you can do that the first thing we need here is like an agent if you don't know like what the agent is you can uh refer like lang chain's official documentation uh, which is really really well and nicely written okay but in in a nutshell so like an agent is a kind of a way in which uh, where you will have like a few things like uh, you'll be you'll have one option to add your chat model uh, the another option is like a very very important which is tools the tools is a basically a place where you can you know uh, attach your application with you know out external sources like an external database your custom endpoint and whatever you can imagine you can attach it with that but we are not going to build any custom tool in this video we are just going to use a very uh, simple and inbuilt tool that Langchain provides which is like a SERP API okay now well, let me show you a uh, SERP API here this is okay and after that uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, add our chat model open AI chat model we will connect this one it's it uses gpt 3.5 tower behind the scene so we are going to use this model and uh, last but not the least uh, we have to add one memory as well as i said like all you need to, all you need to do is like you just have to connect the dots at the right place and you will have um your endpoint up and running okay so let me just connect these things first uh buffer memory and uh, this one with tool allow tools you can add as many tools as you want you know it's not limited so allow tools so you which means like you can add multiple tools as well and uh, here it's chat openai.com let me just connect let me just connect this one with openai chat model okay so this is our flow which is ready right now and uh, the only thing that we need to do here is like we have to add like credentials here you know you have to add api key of a SERP api you have to add like a open AI api key here as well so if you don't know like how to get these you can um, visit like a platform.openai.com for to get open ai key and uh SERP api.com to get that SERP api key okay so this is my SERP api account you can just go and sign up here and you will have your api key and you can get your api key from here okay I'm just gonna delete this after this video so yeah it doesn't matter let me just copy this here and uh, here you can see like uh, click on here and just add create new key let me just name SERP API key and here I'll add my API key okay this is how I added uh, my SERP API key and now let's add this chat open ai api key uh, i'm just gonna skip the video and uh, let me just paste it here okay so uh now i've added my open ai api key here as you can see so all you need to do is just to save this uh, chatbot okay here you can see like chat chat flow saved and after that you can just run this you know uh, let's say what is langchain framework okay and uh, here you will see like it will start answering your question it will take some time and after that here you can see langchain is a framework designed to simplify the creation of application using large language models okay so which means it is giving uh it is it is giving correct answer okay even though it is not 
it hasn't been trained on that okay so that's how you can basically connect your tools with your open ai agent and it is a very basic and simple use case that i was that i've shown you here uh, but you can build really a uh, much complex application than these okay you can use vector databases for qa things you know the question answering maybe you will explore that in the next video or i'll also show you like you know how to build your own custom tool as well okay so that's the thing and uh once you have this thing ready you can just click on this like api endpoint and here you will have your api endpoint and you can use it in whatever language you want okay it's just an api request you have to make uh as a request body it accepts like a question where you can ask your question and you will have your answer okay so that's how you can use this flow wise and make your open ai applications not open ai but ai applications okay so that's it for today's video i hope you liked it i know there are some there were some like you know mistakes that happened in this video but i hope you get it like what i meant to say what i was trying to say so yeah that's it for today's video if you liked it then don't forget then don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next video and i'll also explain like how to build a custom tool so thanks for watching